Hello and welcome back to Let's Play DayZ with me, Grey Hunter. I decided that I was going to continue playing a little bit, and I loaded up into a new server where there's about 10 people again, and it's raining! How cool is that? It's it's grey, it's rainy, it's... I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. So apparently, when you're under trees, you won't get completely wet. I wonder if that actually has any effect right now. Like, you can get more sick. I don't know. Alright, so let's head down. Uh, we'll go back through Electro, and we'll start heading eastward. No, westward. My apologies, I probably said it last time too. I uh, will head more westward into the area near uh, Cherno, etc. So, we'll head down here. I'm going to look for an SKS as well, or a Mosin. One to two, because I don't like this gun very much. Like, it seems nice, but you can only load one round, so it wouldn't be very good when fighting against other people. And let's face it, people are going to be the thing that you shoot at more often than zombies. Maybe if hunting was a thing? Okay, I don't see anybody, at least I don't think there's anyone down there. Does that change whether this is damp or not? No, it's still damp. We're just not getting wet. Hmm. Alright, let's head on down. We'll go for the fire station. Hopefully we can find an M1911 mag. An SKS. Or just another FNX mag at the moment. I'd settle for that. It would just be nice. I mean, we're pretty much set already. We need a bit more food, but after we've got a bit more food, we're all good. We're ready to go. But seeing as we're going back through Electro, we will hit the hot spots. So we'll go for the uh, supermarket, go for the other fire station. But we will scope it out first. I doubt that we're going to meet a whole heap of people. Because of the time that it is here in Australia, but you never know. No, we just want to be a little bit careful edging over this hill. Because you never know when there might be people. Is that a person or a zombie? It looks like a zombie. And apparently one of the other things that they added, according to the patch notes, is they've added in slight zombie respawning, so hopefully... Uh, you won't be able to completely clear out areas, and you won't know whether someone's been there or not, because zombies will respawn. Now we need our fire axe for this one. Because uh, another thing that they added, they've added so many cool things for this update. I love it. I love it so much. Uh, another cool thing that they've done is they've made it so that if you shoot a zombie, the zombies respawning around it, around your location, automatically know where you are. But from what I could understand, it appears that it's only near your location. So if you are nowhere near the zombie when you shoot it, you should be okay. Alright, so I don't think this building has anything in it. But if we can get into it, I'll go have a look. Let's have a look in this tool shed as well. We just want to be careful. We don't want to startle the zombie too early. So she comes and runs at us. No, nothing in here. Where did she go? Ah, there she is. Maybe it's a he. I don't know. I say she. Can't tell what gender it is. There's a few of them about, though. Hello. Kusplat. Yeah, come on. Get down. You too, sir. Go away. You are getting wet. Yes, I am. I'm going to pull out our pistol for this one. Just in case there's somebody else in here. I don't want to shoot anybody. But sometimes you have no choice. Alright, 7.62. 20 rounds of it. That's SKS ammunition as well, by the way. Uh, 
20 rounds of SKS ammunition isn't a bad thing. Don't need you. Let's head upstairs. Green ballistic helmet. It's in pretty bad shape. I don't really want it anyway. I think we blend in better with what we've currently got. What are you? You are a green head force beret. What I would really like is a canteen. And another one of you. See, it uses 22. I wouldn't imagine that 22 would be particularly useful, except maybe for hunting. I don't know, I could be wrong. But 22 is what most hunting rifles are chambered for, isn't it? If there's a gun expert who watches this video, you could tell me if I am correct or not. About 22 being mostly a hunting thing. What are you? You are a walkie-talkie. You do not have a battery. I do not want you. What are you? Grey tactical shirt. Nah. This fire acts better or worse than mine. It's worn, mine is also worn. Blackhead torch. Nah. No thank you. I think we'll get by without you. Alright. Now let us head for the other places of interest. Just duck down there. Roll. Roll. Get out the axe. And away we go. Hello, zombie. I will charge you. Get down. Right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to enter through the cover of these houses. Although, granted, we just ran across a field, basically. We do want to take advantage of cover when we can find it. So let's see. That is supermarket. Should mean. Oh, okay. Thank you. That is the supermarket, which should mean that the school is nearby. There it is. Yeah, hi. Oh god, I missed. God damn it. Come here. Go away. Hopefully nobody witnessed that. Get down. Let's make our way quickly in here. Alright, cool. Again, pistol for close quarters. Hopefully we will not need it. No thank you. No thank you. Is that food? It is! It's a potato! Thank you very much. Good job game. I like this server already. Rice! Canned sardines! Don't mind if I do. No. Give me, give me the rice. Thank you. Awesome. Alright, let's go see if anybody has been in here and looted the gun. It typically spawns. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Come inside so nobody sees it. God damn it. Get down. Alcoholic tincture, bandage. This one is better, I think, at stopping bleeding, but I wouldn't know for certain. Can you go in there? No. Alright, we'll, we'll grab it anyway. Give me the bandage. Never look a bandage horse in the mouth. I am prior. There, good job. I am prioritizing getting to the top over um, 
looking for other supplies in this building due to the fact that we want to be moving fairly soon. And there's only a few things that we actually need. Do you have a present for me? You do not. Your present is... Oh, actually, no, you sort of do. Oh, wait, you do. That is a CR-75. That's a new gun, too. I think it's supposed to be a CZ. And you've got a pistol flashlight. I probably won't use it at all, most likely, but pistol flashlight onto that would be cool. Awesome. Nice. Uh, is there anything over here? Not that I know of. We'll check the roof. Because, as I said, occasionally items will spawn up there. Hopefully nobody sees us doing this mad dash. Alright, up we go. Go, 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 go. Uh, the CR-75 should be the one that uses 9mm, if I remember correctly. Looks far. It looks like it would be. That is a snap loader. For what? Snap loader for a double rifle. I think that's for the other Ruger. The police station is closed. Alright, that's going to be our next port of call. Let's see if we can't find a rifle in there. I know, I don't know, we found our sporter in there, so maybe we'll find something else. It doesn't hurt to look at all these buildings if you can get to them. Hello? Yeah, 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 come on. Come up here. Get in here. Get down. Whoa! Get... God damn it! God damn it, axe! Okay, that didn't work at all. Let's get down to the bottom level. Are we bleeding? No, we are not. So our clothing protected us. Oh, for God's sake. Really? Go away. God damn it. Die. Okay, now we're bleeding. Perfect. Well, we'll use this bandage. Or we won't. Okay. We'll use this bandage. You're already using something. No, I'm not. I'm really not. Alright, bandage into hands, please. Use. Alright, there we go. Now I'm bandaging. Alright, perfect. So, did they damage anything? Don't think so. Oh, yeah. Alright, so a sewing kit would be nice, too. But, again, not a priority. Just a wood-like item. Because we'll probably change clothes soon enough, anyway. Looks like we might be one of the only people in the south. Looking at the condition of all these buildings, because they all look pretty pristine. Well, I'm not going to sniff at that. I do like the thunder. Alright, and we'll close this door, because we would like people to not notice we're in here. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Looks like we got here first. I like it. Uh, be cool if we could find some equipment. Yeah, drink is good. Drink is a good piece of equipment. Looking for things like compasses, though. What are you? Are you just a shotgun or are you a Ruger? No, you're just a shotgun. And a baseball bat. Hmm. Alright, handy, but not what I'm looking for, but it is confirmation that good things come to you in this building. So let's see if we can find some more. Uh, is there anything in here? I doubt it. Ooh! I'm glad I was wrong. I will take this UK salt vest. I do not care if it is badly damaged. Get in there, FNX. Swapsies. Oh, hell yes. I prefer a black one. And I'm curious as to why it was in, the, you know, the prison area. I prefer a black one, but I'll take what Daisy sees fit to give me. Gifts are still gifts. Gifts are still good. Okay, that leads back out, so we don't want to go there just yet. We want to head upwards, ever upwards. And open these. Can opener. Is it better than our current one. It doesn't really matter, but I just like to have nice ones. 
I like to have nice things. This is why we can have them. Nah, we won't worry about that. Oh, hello. I will take that. I don't know if food can go off yet. I don't think that's a functionality. But it will be amazing when hunting is added. Because hunting was one of my favorite things in the original mod. What are you? An inquiry into the nature and causes of the wealth of nations. Interesting material, but no. We, we will avoid that. Those are all full books, by the way. Uh, if you find a book, generally you'll be able to read the whole thing. So if I find a good one, I will take it. Selected stories. Bret Hart. Nah. Never heard of it. It doesn't look like there's anything in here. And we'll just check in this room. Hello. Battle like client. Really? Well, that's nice. That is a Mosin. We don't have the ammunition for it. But it is better than the gun that we currently have. And I know where we can find some ammunition for it. So swap. Or at least I'd imagine we can find some. We'll leave this ammunition for whoever comes along. I mean... There's a certain reasoning that makes sense to stripping ammunition so other people can't use it, but, eh, whatever. Uh, I would love an ammo box, though. An ammo box would be one of my favorite things. So let's eat this pepper. And we'll eat the potato as well. You should be in there, too. Because I'd imagine that those are perishable foods. And we're probably getting on to needing to eat anyway at some point, so that's all good. Hello, what are you? Map of Southeast Generous. Okay, not what we need. We've got a map of the whole South, so we won't worry about that. Baseball bat. Hello. Do you actually have ammunition? You do. There's a 30 round Stanek clip mag. Technically, they're magazines, but you know. Okay, well, don't really need any of this stuff, so let's move on. Let's have a look upstairs, though, just to make sure there's nothing up here. Hello, what are you? Tuna? Tuna! I don't mind if I do. Any other goodies up here? Nope. No other goodies at all. I'd imagine... Whoa! Careful, <laughs> go down the right stairs. I'd imagine that we can probably find ammunition for our Mosin in either another fire station or possibly in one of these houses. We should go have a look. Good God, that scared the crap out of me. We should go have a look, see if there's any cafe areas around. Because they frequently have... Uh, ammunition. It's not always the ammunition you want, but you can't always get what you want. Sometimes you have to take what you can find. What are you? Painkillers. I would like those. I don't know if they actually have a use, but I will take them. We've got enough medical supplies now that it would be worth picking up a second med kit and just turfing out the old stuff and putting in our new stuff. I generally end up carrying about three of the damn things, because you want some bandages, you want some painkillers, you want some other stuff. I don't want disinfectant. I haven't found a use for disinfectant. I don't know if painkillers work either, but, you know, why not? Okay. There's nothing in there. We'll head on up. See if we can't find something cool. Rotten food. Thank you, Daisy, for remaining constant. A quick look around here. I doubt there's going to be anything. Well, there's some disinfectant, but not the stuff that we need. So we won't worry about it. I've seen uh, threads that state that people poison their items so that other people cannot take them. You know, like, like food and stuff. And I ask myself, well, why bother? Because then you can't use it either. I mean, once it's poisoned, you can't eat it unless you plan on dying. Kind of pointless. I'm not going to check the roof. I will check the next level on the way up to the roof, because occasionally I've found items there. If 
but I don't really want to camp out on the roof, just in case there is somebody else here. If they see that roof door open, they will be after us. Okay, so we'll head over to that little warehouse thing. Actually, no, we'll, we'll hit the supermarket first, then we'll head there. I'd like to find some better gloves. Oh, and I forgot to go to those garages, too. I am a derp. You are getting wet. Yes, yes I am. It's generally what happens when you stand out in the rain. Alright, let's go to those garages. So I found that garages have cool stuff in them. Some of the time. And as you guys will notice, because you will have seen those videos before this one, we did find cool stuff in there. Nope, nothing good. Alright, let's go round through here. The more cover you put between yourself and other survivors is good, basically. My body feels wet. But does that matter, game? Because I'm under the impression that it doesn't. But I could be wrong. So our goal is going to be to make it to Bolota this time around, and we're going to go looking for ammunition, magazines, etc. Apparently, these really don't spawn anything. We weren't just unlucky. This seems oddly familiar. I hope that they haven't dumbed it down to the... F to, uh... that everything spawns the exact same stuff. Oh, come on, open. Thank you, God. An orange boonie hat. Perfect camouflage. I'm sure the deer will see nothing. Not that there are deer in this game yet. It would be nice that there, if there were, but there is not yet. Okay, open. Chest holster. The black cap. Yeah. So far, nothing good. That's right though. Okay, so we'll head over. My clothes are soaked through, but is that an issue? You are wet. Oh, well, apparently it matters. It says I'm wet. I wonder if it really matters, though, or if that's just sort of like a thing that comes up. Um, no, we'll, we'll check these areas first. These are more likely to have ammunition, etc. Compasses. You are no longer getting wet. But. No, I don't want shotgun rounds, damn it. Hello. Grey combat boots. Are they good? My clothes are soaked through. That would imply that it does indeed matter. My clothes are soaked through. Alright, well we might have to find a rain jacket. Grey check wool coat. Soaking wet. Damp. Damaged. Pristine. Is it damage the things in your pockets? Apparently not. That's just damp. That's soaking wet. That's badly damaged. That could be interesting, though, if you would be forced to wait out rain. Because what do you do if you can't wait out rain? Like, if zombies attack you. What do you do then? You should be able to pick up a towel or something like that. Cataclysm has that. Cataclysm uh, Dark Days Ahead has a uh, function of obtaining a towel so you can dry yourself off. It's a little kind of basic, obviously, because, you know, you can't dry your whole self off with a towel and have it not matter at all that you were wet, but it's a nice functionality. Nothing. Some food? I want the food. Whoa! Hello? Get in the open so I can hit ya. Or go completely the other way and... Yeah, that, that works too. Good idea, zombie. Okay, is it still raining? I think it's done raining. So I think we'll be clear to move. Though, knowing my luck, I'll get sick from this. 
Like, you are sick, you have a cold, you have influenza. You are going to die. I don't see rain falling anymore, so... That's a good sign. Alright, let's go over and check the supermarket out. Oh no, you are getting wet. <laughs> the rain stopped for like a second. Come on, through the door, it's not hard. Oh, we found some Mozan ammo in this thing last time. No such luck this time. Ah, but this sort of place is great for picking up stuff. Uncle Silas. No thanks. Um, good. Let's head up and then we'll look downstairs in a minute. I found lots and lots of canteens in here and sometimes you'll find protector cases. <gasps> protector case! Perfect, because you can store so much stuff in these things. And you can still access it off your hotbar. So, first things first, let's get rid of that off our hotbar and that. We don't need them. Uh, we'll store our food in this one, I think. So, one can of food, two cans of food. We'll keep our uh, tuna out. But we'll store our drinks in there too. If we can. Sweet. So, we'll put food up there. Painkillers. Uh, I'll put our ammunition. And the grey canvas pants. There we go. Sweet. Now I'll put the protector case in there. Awesome. Wait, what? Okay, cool. <laughs> I thought for a second there it had doubled up on my protector cases. And while that would be amazing, I would be obligated to leave it behind because that's cheating. That's cheating, and that's rotten food. Thank you, thank you, game, so much. What is that? The Magna Carta? Really? Can you read it? I was told that you could read books. Let's try. Inspect. No? Oh, I see. It's it's like a placeholder book, I suppose. Well, we shan't be wanting it. Uh, no, we'll leave our Rasputin kvass there. I would love to find a canteen. A canteen would make me the happiest man ever. As well as some bullets for my Mosin. Which now has a funky PU scope. Okay, well, let's have a look. Let's see. Is this book readable? Take Uncle Silas. Inspect. No? My Uncle Silas. But I've seen pictures of people with uh, pages from the book in-game screenshots, so I'd imagine there's some that you can. Don't need firewood, because as far as I know it doesn't have a functionality. Excuse me. And this was a rather profitable trip, actually. I love protector cases because they let you carry uh, that much more because you can put six items into a four slot item case and that's pretty damn good. No, we don't need you. And we don't need any of the stuff in here, I don't think. Yeah, because there's pretty much nothing anyway. Supermarket ho. God, I'm getting so wet. Do not like it. Do not like it at all. Are you Moz and ammunition? Please be. No. Shotgun rounds. Aha! Black spray paint. Don't mind if I do. Whoa! That was unlucky. You almost got me there if you hadn't gone raw right before you tried to smack me. Oh, there's another one. Okay, um... Alright, can I apply this to this? Paint fire axe black. Paint fire axe black. Firefighter's axe. Black firefighter's axe. I like it. Oh, that's beautiful. Let's go into third person for a second and have a look. Oh, that is camo as shit. I love it. I love it, I love it. Alright, let's go. Uh, do we have any more uses on that? Because 
it might be an idea. Can you spray paint guns? You can. I might leave it for now.